Country music legend Loretta Lynn has something pretty phenomenal headed our way this year. Lynn recently announced her new album, Still Woman Enough, an album that holds as a tribute to country music's female legends. For example, you'll find this red-headed fancy female on the track, you the truth, there's nothing you won't do. along with this American Idol legend. The record traces American traditional music back to its roots, spotlighting a handful of beloved tracks made noteworthy by the Carter family, and also features new renditions of some of Lynn's biggest hits from the early days of her career, like a rendition of this number. Cause I wanna be free. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country, and we're here to give you the rundown on what to expect out of the Still Woman Enough album, and how Underwood and McIntyre come into play. But before we dive in, make sure that subscribe button is clicked so you never miss out on the latest country music news. Lynn's new album is compiled of 13 tracks, and if you're wondering where McIntyre and Underwood come into play, well here it is. The two vocal powerhouses are guest vocalists on the project's title track, Still Woman Enough, and they aren't the only female artists to be making an appearance. Margot Price joins Lynn in a new version of Ones on the Way, and then Tanya Tucker sings with Legend on the final track of the album, You Ain't Woman Enough. Quote, I'm just so thankful to have some of my friends join me on the new album. We girls gotta stick together. It's amazing how much has happened in the 50 years since Coal Miner's daughter first came out, and I'm extremely grateful to be given a part to play in the history of American music. Don't you worry, the album also includes Coal Miner's daughter Recitation, a reflection of one of Lynn's signature numbers and hits. Lynn's Coal Miner's daughter album came out on January 4th, 1971. And in celebration of the 50th anniversary of its release, she shared the music video for the number on the new album on Monday, January 4th. Well, I was born to coal miner's daughter. Set to be released on March 19th, Still Woman Enough was produced by John Carter Cash, the son of Johnny Cash and June Carter Cash, as well as Patsy Lynn Russell, Lynn's daughter, and the co-writer of the singer's 2002 autobiography, also titled Still Woman Enough. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the new album, and before we go, leave your favorite Loretta Lynn song in the comments below. They're all so good, but we want to see which number is your go-to song. I'm Addison Hager for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for subscribing.